What's up guys, we are back again, and we are going to finally be talking about Sonic 2. So first off, if you have not seen this film, I highly recommend you click off the video, then go check it out, because we are not only going to be getting into spoilers, we're going to be getting in not only the thoughts, as well as the process of what I personally thought about this film, and at the same time, could there be a third film? So obviously, watching this film, I was very excited, because again... I like Sonic. I probably am not the biggest Sonic fan, but I really wanted to see how this was going to play out because this movie was highly anticipated. I will say very highly anticipated, and I enjoyed the living hell out of this film. I really did because it starts off however many months after the events of the first movie. You know, we got uh, Professor, you know, the, you know, Egg, he's trapped in that mushroom world he's trying to get out he uses a hair of sonic to get out he opens up this brand new world and then knuckles comes through and then they make an alliance to go after sonic so when this happens sonic is with of course uh you know james marston's character uh you know marston's character and you know tom he's going to a wedding for his sister-in-law who's getting married so they leave sonic home alone and that's when tail shows up tail shows up because he's in trouble because knuckles is looking for him so he wanted so he wants to try to help him and then when this happens we see this huge dynamic of knuckles going after sonic because he blames him for the war with his people because the one that looked after sonic is dead and she had i guess a war going on with knuckles because they were wanting the emerald that apparently if you have the emerald you'll be able to have all this power and when this happens dark you know the, you know jim carrey's character he figures this out is like hey i want it and when he does dr eggman starts going after it and he later does get it and knuckles realizes that hey you know he was being used because knuckles if you don't remember he is an anti-hero he's not your normal hero he does get used and he comes on sonic's side to help him and sonic in the beginning of this film he's wanting to be sort of like a vigilante but then of course you know john figures out that hey you know he's trying to help people and it's not going the way he wants and he tries to teach him hey look you gotta do it this way not the way you want because if you do it better than you will become a hero and tails is an outcast like sonic and that's kind of like how they how they bond and knuckles is even an outcast which you later figure out because he's really the last of his kind in a way and the last of his tribe and we see where sonic is constantly on the run trying to get to this emerald of where it's at before knuckles gets it now i will say uh iris of all did an amazing job as knuckles i will say the voice actors obviously for sonic and tails did an amazing job everyone did an amazing job in this film it was not bad at all i will say the only thing that was kind of cringe a little bit is i'm not a fan of the sister-in-law because we did see her trying to have a wedding to uh sean moore's character which is pretty funny because sean moore you know anyone knows him obviously from criminal minds or even swat he was he was faking the entire time of being with this person and then he just was like hey you know i'm a federal agent this was to get sonic and then later on he even chooses like oh hey you know i love this girl and it was just really kind of cringy and kind of stupid so i will say that i was not a fan of that i will say the fight where uh eggman he makes this big machine after he gets the emerald was really cool i'm very happy that they put that from the game and then the fight scenes that we got to see knuckles and tails and even sonic team up to take down professor eggman was really cool and being able to see them all come up and just fight man it was really cool i really did enjoy it i think it was a great film i can't wait to see what else they're wanting to bring in to the sonic universe but overall the very end of it seeing what happens to sonic and i don't want to give too much away but i will say if you're a fan of the games you will be very happy with what they pull here i'm not going to try to give too much away but I really want to say it. I just don't know if I should. Because, um, ah, hell, screw it. They actually show him go supersonic. They, they really do. In, in the end of this film, they show him going supersonic against Professor Eggman, which is absolutely badass. And I, can't, I, I was like, wow, I can't believe they actually pulled that. And they actually pulled it off very well. To where it actually made sense. And it worked the reason why he did that. Because as soon as they get the Emerald from him, 
from Professor Eggman, and then they're able to try to bring it back. They have no; it, it gets somewhat destroyed, and then we see where John and his wife are saying, "Like we're not going to leave you, your family," and he's saying, "Hey, I love you guys." And then finally, at the very end, that's when he does that, and it doesn't change him. He just lets it go because he's like, "Hey, I don't need this power. I still got a lot of growing up to do." And he even chooses that, "Hey, you know, I want to be part of this family. I'm going to be part of this family." And later on, we even see where Tails and Knuckles kind of gets adopted by John and his wife, where they are going to be family friends. And we see them at the ballpark having fun. And it's pretty much a lot of the comedy that was in this film was like it was in the first film. It wasn't forced or it wasn't, you know, bad or anything of that nature. It had some great funny parts in there. Like they had like a dance off in this film, which was very funny. They had a. Uh, like some other funny thing with the snowboarding that you see in the trailer. That was pretty cool. Overall, like I said, I don't really have a lot of complaints about this film. I really do like it. I think it was very interesting because I'm, I'm happy that the stakes were higher in this film than it was in the last film. And I'm really looking forward to see, like, we, I can guarantee you Professor Eggman is not dead. I can guarantee you. Even with Jim Carrey possibly retiring, there, there's a possibility he's going to be returning for this film. And we have more characters in Sonic that I, I got to get more familiar with. But Shadow, Shadow is one of my favorite characters in the Sonic universe. And if they ever bring Sonic back, I'm praying that they do. I'm praying that they bring Shadow in. Because I never, I don't think Shadow was in this film. There was some, uh, some like, oh, he's in this film. Like, bro, I don't think he was ever in this film. If he was, I never really saw him. But I'm look. I'm really looking forward to him coming out because again, I think that the uh, the the military is going to be. I believe. I think it's the, the military that makes Shadow, isn't it? Isn't it the military that makes Shadow? And he goes rogue or something like that. It makes him like another version of Sonic. Like we can use weapons and everything. I'm, I'm trying to remember how. But I'm waiting for that to happen. And again, I can't wait to see what's going to happen in the future for Sonic. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments down below. If you guys are channel, subscribe, subscribing. Leave a big fat like on the video if you guys enjoyed. What did you guys think about Sonic 2? Let me know down in the comments section below. And I'll see you guys as always on the next one.